everybody's having a good day so far. Yes. Here's a fun fact. If you want to turn the camera around, that's where they make the Oscar statues. Oh, do they still make them there? Uh, I thought they moved. Oh, they did? Didn't they? No, I thought that's where they were making them. I don't know. <laughs> But they also make all those big sculptures that you Yeah, can they make some cool over sculptures there. over yeah. there. There's a lot of big ones over there. We mm -hmm. can kind of see it through that parking lot. No, I don't think they'd really be able to little see Little pavilion. It, well, big little pavilion. Yeah. But yeah, they used to, and maybe still, make the Oscar statuettes there, which yeah. is pretty darn cool. It is cool. And the new Amazon warehouse is over there, too, mm -hmm. on that side. That's such a claim to fame. <laughs> so exciting. <laughs> oh, so exciting. Yeah. Well, we are actually coming up to something that our area is known for as well. Oh? <laughs> you guys may or may not remember uh, from many years ago the hype all around the American Choppers or Orange County oh, Choppers. Oh, yeah. That is Orange County, New York. That put Orange County on the map, I feel like. Sort of. <laughs> and In they, that um, way. it was entertaining for a while. We watched it for a while and then we were yeah. just like, okay, we're over it. Um, but they had a big building yeah. in Newburgh where we are right now. And they went bankrupt. They did, they went bankrupt. So they're, they're for bankruptcy. they closed it, they're moving to Florida. Um, but it's a big building. I've never been in there, but I've never it been It always there. looked cool. It's got a restaurant in there. Yeah. It's got like a little museum. I mean. Well. <laughs> but anyway, that's the local history. Occasionally. <laughs> if you we, want to call it history. We see them around town. Yeah. But I think the dad moved to Florida. I thought they were all moving to Florida. Or oh, I don't really? know if some of them are. I don't know if the son did or not. I don't know all the details. All the tales. Yeah. But. The, yeah. And there's a lot of tales. Yeah. <laughs> We'll get there in a second, and then Maddie will show you. Actually, it's a bit for yeah, it's, bit. it's past the airport. But we are going to go pick up Lulu's prescription. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a couple of bits and bobs to pick up. I know I didn't want to go to grocery shopping, but I'm an idiot because I always need stuff. I need some stuff because I'm house sitting this weekend. But yeah, yeah we need some groceries for that. <laughs> it's, it's never ending. What can I say? Yeah. But um, we also need doggy treats. That's that's at the top of the list. With yeah, they need their chewies. Because if they don't get their treats, they're just not happy. And tonight's the live stream. <laughs> By the time you see this, it will have already happened. Was there doggy fisticuffs? Yes I or no? I freaking hope not because that gets me so upset. I know it does. I could not concentrate for the rest of the show last time, so. We're gonna have to take proactive action. And they need to be separated for the whole show. We need to prepare for the show more than a minute before we're streaming. Yeah. <laughs> Which is what usually happens because we're always running late. So we're right always now. under the gun. We are always under the gun. Uh, but we'll figure it out. Yeah. Okay, we're coming up to the chopper building. Why are you whispering? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> that was there. It's kind of hard to see, but. World headquarters. Uh -huh. Here we go. There it is. There it is. Yeah. Ew, my finger looks so, like, gross. <laughs> <laughs> it's dry skin season. Oh, my thumb is ready to fall off. Yeah. I try not to put any lotion on my hands until after I've put makeup on because I don't want to be rubbing in lotion, like hand lotion, into my face. You know what I mean? It's so hard, though, uh, to put lotion on any. Time yeah, there's always something. Phone screen yeah, there's always something where I'm just like, I don't feel like I want this on my hands right now, but yeah. sometimes you have to. Yeah. Oh, hello. Um, I'm using my phone to film this because I left my camera in the car, so. <laughs> right? <laughs> I probably have seeds in my teeth too from the rice crackers. That's fun. Oh, I thought you were <laughs> naked for a minute. And I was uh, like, oh, yeah, because I walk around the house like that. Oh, she's a never nude. What can I say? Uh, All right. Go exercise. Have fun. I got to uh, I got to get out of here in a few minutes. Pick up Sean. Yeah. All right. So we went to uh, Walmart and we went to uh, Aldi. Aldi had some good stuff. 
They had the Brussels sprouts for $1.69, I think it was, per bag. So that was really nice. They had the Harry Colbert still. I'm not going to show you the stuff that Maddie got because it's over here in this bag. It's a mess. It is a mess. Um, I got these really cute gift tags for 99 cents each. 50 um, gift tags for 99 cents each. That was nice. I got a new oven mitt with the silicone, silicone on the outside so I don't burn myself. <laughs> my oops my old one i almost did like the camera thing my old one is looking pretty beat up so i think i can retire this one or maybe i'll try and wash it i don't know it's a mess though still got dishes to do dishwasher didn't fix itself yet and it's probably not going to we're probably going to go this weekend hopefully get one um i was just talking to uh, mark about it just now we got lots of frozen veg here, including crinkle cut french fries, and um, what else did we get in there? You know, the usual green beans and the mixed veggies for the dogs and that kind of stuff. Oh, darn it. Now I remember what I forgot to get at Aldi. I wanted to get more uh, baby carrots, but <laughs> that's for another day. I also picked up some garlic paste. I really like that. I got some of this uh, thread. <laughs> I'm, I don't know how much white thread I had left, uh, so I just got a big spool of it. Some vegan mozzarella, some uh, cane sugar. It's certified clean. I've never seen that before. I've seen like organic and whatever. I wonder what certified clean means, but I'll go with it. Great news. Aldi had the gluten-free bread back in stock. So I ended up getting two so that I have one to keep in the freezer because I really, really like it. And it's very, very hard to find a bread that is gluten-free, vegan, and tastes good and has a good texture. And this one is very good. Some pasta um what else do we get the dogs got some chews uh because i forgot to get them at bj's the other day and um it's just maddie stuff oh and i got a case of water for sean to take to program so that is pretty much everything oh this salsa too i guess this is a seasonal one mild roasted verde salsa they had a whole section of like charcuterie stuff so they had an olive um, artichoke platter. It was like $5.99, maybe closer to the holidays. We'll end up getting that because it was uh, accidentally vegan or vegan friendly and, uh, and gluten free as well. So probably end up getting that, but I got to take out the trash. <laughs> so I'll see you later. Oh, hi, Bowie. The puppies are waiting. Oh, look, they heard the camera go on, so they both ran for the water dishes. Probably could have went in the middle. I didn't want it to burn on the top. I know, but it's a bottom. It's yeah. Dirty. All right, well, we're going to play a game tonight. Oh? <laughs> Can you tell which pizza crust is mine? Oh. One is store bought, and one is mine. Okay. So, we'll see. I'm just having crappy, gluten-free, uh... Crappy? You've been dying for that bread. Yeah, but as a pizza? I mean... It good. looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. Kind of. <laughs> you know which ones were... was good? Mm. The Odo's. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that was pretty good as a pizza. The, um... Not the fit bagel thins. The, um... I can't think of what it was called. It was like a big flat board. <laughs> How is that? It's good. Okay. And then uh, you're gonna you're gonna have to try the other one. You're gonna have to say which one is mine. My sense of taste is just not that good. He's already uh, laying the groundwork for. Honey, don't be angry at me if I can't pick out which one is yours. <laughs> we also have some beautiful asparagus, 
three pounds of the finest asparagus for a dollar twenty-five a pound. I can't be angry at it. It was only a dollar twenty-five a pound. You know. Mm -hmm. I think that's the least we've ever paid. Wow. Maybe not. Um, maybe we paid a dollar forty. Yeah, we paid a dollar forty-nine. I thought that was pretty good, but. Where was that grown? Mm. I already threw off the tag. Do you remember which is your dough? I do. Okay. Is that one ready to come out yet? Probably not. Almost. It's getting pretty brown on the top. All right, we'll come back. All right, Mark just cut up the second pizza. And what do you think? It feels different. And of course. Well, I mean, look at it. It's a little more crusty. Yes. I think this is yours. Why? Tastes better. It just seems more like a real pizza crust. Okay. I think it's yours. <laughs> well, you're correct. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well. Yeah, you can tell the difference. Yeah. Absolutely. Because this was. You said yours is better than the store. Mm. Well, thank you. Because yeah. it has identical toppings on it. Mm -hmm. And uh, there you go. There yeah. you have it. Big difference in flavor. Thank you. Thank you for re uh, for recognizing that. Of course. Oh, oh. <laughs> You've always had a, an excellent palate, wonderful palate. You. you can always taste, uh, you know, beyond. So, there you go. Mark knows my pizza. Oh, hi. It's Friday morning. <laughs> we made it to the weekend. I consider Friday the weekend because Friday is... Um, included with the weekend update so um it's friday oh thank the lord <sighs> it's a pretty dreary day though it's just me and sean today and of course the babies maddie's busy house sitting so it's dreary although it is kind of it's bright but dreary it's not like gloomy rainy dreary so i'm gonna start off Hello. Hello. Hello, mommy. <laughs> I'm going to start off um, with some birthday shout outs. We have two for this weekend. And I think it's actually two for tomorrow. It's Kyle Jeffrey. And, well, happy birthday, Kyle. And it's Ronald Chan, dad of Sheena. I hope. Well, happy birthday. I hope you two are living your best day, week, month, year, lifetime of birthday happiness. You got your birthday weekend happening during the holiday preparation season, so that's pretty awesome. And um, we're going to have some exciting stuff going on this weekend, too. I don't know whether I said it on the vlog or not, but um, because we always have multiple videos filming at once, so I don't know, I don't know who I told what to. It's like a game of telephone sometimes. We ordered a new dishwasher last night. We didn't get an ADA compliant one, but we did get one that we're hoping is gonna fit in that opening over there. So, fingers crossed, right? We're gonna be picking that up. We're gonna be putting up the Christmas tree. I think I'm putting up the tree today and then uh, Maddie and her boyfriend and Sean D are gonna be um, decorating that tomorrow. And uh, hopefully we're going to get to the Arboretum sometime this weekend and see the Lights in Bloom. That would be nice. Sean, you want to go see Lights in Bloom? Yes. Yes. What's a Light Bloom? At the Arboretum. You like that? Yes. Yes, we go every year. Hopefully it's not going to be too cold or too crowded tonight because it's such a bummer to have to wait in line in your car and then you go there and it's cold and you feel guilty because... You don't want to spend too much time there because you want other people to have a chance to and the parking is limited even though they've increased the parking lot. But um, yeah, I'm probably going to end up going multiple times. I know Maddie is. But if we go tonight, she's not going with us because she's got the dungeons and the dragoons. 
so <laughs> she'll be busy playing that. And, uh, oh, Sean, this is, you want me to get rid of this? Which I'm not going to get rid of. I always, if it's anything good that Sean tells me to throw out, I hold on to it because chances are I'm going to want it in the future or he's going to want it in the future. So I think that's just his way of saying, mother, get this out of my sight. I'm editing my collection and I need more room for the things that are current. So I'll just squirrel it away somewhere. Oh my goodness. It's Friday. <laughs> Thank goodness. And I'm going to have another cup of coffee here. I have to say, this coffee maker was one of the best um, coffee maker purchases that I've made. And yes, these are recyclable. You pull out the filter pack and you and this part is recyclable. It's got a little triangle on it. All right. So that's one of the best purchases I've made. Mark, every night, comes home and is like, honey, make me a latte. And I love it. It's so simple. I've never been into espresso or lattes before. So it's 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 nice to have a little variety. And yes, there is a difference between the drinks. So mm, I'm going to have another Bah Humbug cup. Mm, delicious. So let's... Uh, there we go. And the thing that I like about it too is that it's fast. The Keurig that I had before would take forever to, uh, sometimes it's a little noisy because the cup vibrates. Um, it would take forever to heat up. This one heats up really quickly and it's really nice. So I look forward to my coffee in the morning and I look forward to my lattes in the evening with Mark when, he, when <laughs> we celebrate every day when he gets home from work. Another day done successfully. So um, I guess that's it. Happy I guess holidays, I should wrap it up. Everyone. Happy holidays, everyone. What are we going to do today? What are you going to do? We're going to put the tree up. Tree up. Yeah. And then tomorrow you'll decorate it? Yes. <clears throat> okay. Good. <laughs> Thankfully, also, the dogs get an honorable mention for being good last night during the live stream. No doggy drama last night. That was nice. So I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend. Don't stress out. Don't be too hard on yourself. Um, you only get one you. So you might as well take excellent care of yourself. Because there's no other you but you. Right? You gotta take care of yourself. So have a good weekend. Have a great weekend. Forget about good. Shoot for great. And we'll see you guys on Monday. And until then, much love.